Hey Crafters! Today, our video explores the topic of how to dress retro or vintage or, you know, just really unique on a budget. And you don't have to spend a whole lot to put together vintage looks. I'm going to try to prove that to you today in our video. I've got to start, though, with one of my favorite topics ever, the 1980s dress. Yes, I cannot make explanation or allowance for many of the fashion choices made in the 80s. I do, however, appreciate their availability at thrift stores and their references to many different decades. You can find 1980s dresses that look 1890s-ish, 1950s-ish. You can even find 1920s-ish. And then, of course, there's my favorite, the 1940s-ish. It's a lot easier and a lot cheaper to find these 1980s dresses than it is to find vintage pieces from the time. Not only are they cheaper, they might also be a little easier to wash, so that's always a plus. My job today is to take some 1980s dresses that look kind of 1940s-ish, and I'm going to take some vintage accessories and try to turn the 80s dress into a 40s look. And then I'm going to take some homemade accessories and see if I can also use those to turn an 80s dress into a vintage-y look. Let's get started. Let me show you some dresses. Okay, oh, this one is one of my favorites. Had it for years. Definitely a thrift store find. Uh, it's very polyester, but I, I do love the length. It is a little longer than knee length. I like the drapey v-neck. It's a bit Grecian. And I like this almost peplum top that's formed by the, the wrap front. And I love the color. This one's a fun one. It's also kind of simple, which I love. It lets us put a lot of accessories with this to change it to what we want to change it to. Okay, so there's example A. Now example B, this was a Goodwill find. Great dress. Again, another polyester number. I do love the button details. I love the puff sleeves. Super 1940s there and the cinchy waist. I also love the colors on this one, black and white. You can do so many things with. So what I'm gonna do first is with the green dress, I'm gonna go through my vintage stash and try to find some vintage accessories that I can take the green dress from 80s to 40s. And then with the black and white dress, I'll use some of my own homemade accessories and see if I can do the same thing. Um, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with our green dress. And, you know, I'm thinking spring with this one. Let's accent that lovely green aqua color with some white accessories. I'm going to just turn our dress around just a bit so we can see the top. Fabulous. Now, first thing, I'm seeing this plungy wrap v-neck. And I think I'm going to take a white camisole and wear that underneath. Hey. I mean, modest is hottest, but also I want to add a little extra detailing. If I can add a little color up here, it's going to help tie in some of the other white accents I want on this dress. Detailing always looks a little more retro because, man, they handmade their clothes. They were made specifically for people. They had beautiful sewing detailing. And if I can add a little detailing to the simpler dress, I think it's going to make it look a little more vintage. So I've got my cami. Then, of course, I need a belt. I actually uh, borrowed my white sash from another retro dress. And I'm thinking, if I can add a little white down here, a little white in the neck, that's going to make this dress look a little less accessorized and hopefully a little bit more like it was made that way. Of course, 1940s ladies. Love their hats. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite hats. It was a gift from the fabulous Miss Stormy. Thanks, Stormy. I love this hat. This one may be a little bit more 1950s than 40s, but I'm going to roll with it because I love it so much. 
Um, this adorable little flower is going to be the inspiration for a few more accessories. So let me add this into the mix. It's going really nicely with our white and green. There we go. Okay, now our accessories. Let's see if I can focus a little bit for you. Oh my goodness, these are some of my favorite thrift store pieces. We got our cute little clip-on earrings and of course a brooch. 1940s ladies really love their brooches. Um, they're not really such a thing for us now, but if you can find some vintage brooches or even make your own, they can really pull your look into the 1940s. These are great. So let me add these into the mix. I think these are going to be super cute in pulling this dress. A little more 40s, a little less 80s. Of course, we'll do some hair and some makeup to add to that as well. But um, I think we're off to a good start. Let's see how the black dress is doing with the homemade accessories. Okay, here's our awesome black and white dress. Let's turn it around a little bit so we can focus on the top. Okay, black and white make me think of red accessories. So we're going to bring in a little red and white to uh, kind of dress up this relatively simple dress. Um, most of these accessories I actually made myself, so I'm pretty excited to show them to you. I'm starting, though... <laughs> with a belt that's, uh, I did not make this. This is from the craft store. I think it's actually material that you would make a strap with for a backpack or a bag. But you could use thick ribbon in this case to make a fun belt. Let's see what happens. Okay. I think since the dress is relatively plain, I may tie the belt in the front to add a little, you know, vintage -y detailing. Vintage ladies love details. Okay, you know what else they loved? They loved hats. But I didn't make a hat. I actually made a scarf. Now, um, this one's one of my favorite projects, and of course I will link to the tutorial in the blog. This is a headscarf that I made based on a pattern I created from a vintage headscarf. It's hard to find cotton scarves. Cotton scarves stay on my head a lot better than others. So this was the project for me. I had to DIY my own. And this one has turned out to be really useful. I use it in a lot of looks. And it's super fun. I think it's going to be really cute here with our dress and our red accents. Okay, we can't stop there though. Aw, vintage ladies loved flower accessories. I've seen in lots of vintage photos, 1940s ladies wearing corsages or flowers in like head turbans and things like that. So these I actually made from craft store flowers and then I glued on felt backings and hardware. This one's a pin backing, the other is a clip, so that I could attach them to basically whatever I wanted for a little extra vintage detailing. I think I'm going to save one for the headscarf and maybe one for the belt. You know, carry on that retro flair a little bit. Now we just need some jewelry. And I did make these as well. These are probably one of the simplest DIYs I've ever done. <laughs> these are little, little plastic buttons. And I took the button backing off the back. See if I can get that there. And instead I glued on an earring post backing from the craft store. And I like how, although these are plastic, I think they look pretty vintage-y. Um, and I think these will be a really cute way to bring in a little more red to our look. Okay, well these 80s dresses are looking a lot more 1940s. I'm going to go try on these outfits, and uh, you guys get ready for the grand reveal. I'll see you guys in a bit.
crafters. I, I hope you enjoyed this project. I really enjoyed shopping my own closet and my vintage stash and my homemade accessories stash to try to put this look together and I had a lot of fun with it. I gotta say this outfit's actually pretty comfortable. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. Um, I'm loving this headscarf because it has not moved which is um, saying something. Since I'm not particularly good at tying headscarves, this one made out of cotton, that DIY project, this is a good one. Speaking of DIY, I will link down in the description to some of my tutorials where I did make this headscarf. I made my little flower accessories, my earrings, and show you how to do that. Um, I'm also going to link to a few of my favorite tutorials for how to tie a headscarf because I definitely did not know how to do that until I found a great tutorial for it, so I will share that one with you as well. I'm also learning a lot more about 1940s makeup, and I'll link to my favorite beauty bloggers um, for a little bit of help on that, and um, you've got what you need. Find a dress, maybe make your own accessories, maybe get a few lucky find vintage pieces, and see what you can put together. You don't have to spend a lot to get a vintagey look and to have a lot of fun with your outfits. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found it amusing, punch that like button to let us know and hope you subscribe so you can stick around to see more tutorials and fashiony retro projects from Partners in Craft. We will see you guys next time and stay crafty you guys. Bye.